I'm super excited because we're gonna meet a very special guest right now, my dad. He started working at the University of Illinois at Chicago in the late 70s, and I remember growing up and going to work with him when I was a really little kid. What we would do for lunch is we would walk over to Polk Street in the heart of this Little Italy University Park area, and we'd go to a place called Carms. Carms is known for its Italian beef sandwiches and, of course, the Chicago hot dogs. Well, see, now, I don't remember it being this big. We started coming here when you were two or three, I think, because Mom was in law school at that time. We'd come over here to get, get something to eat. I think you primarily got hot dogs back then. But you were sitting on one of these stools when you were like three and then you just kind of fell off. Yeah. That's, why That's why I am the way I am today. Do you know this gentleman? I do know this gentleman. Do you know this gentleman? Oh my God, we go way back. <laughs> hey Steve, how you doing? What's going on? <laughs> what do you know, Locus? How long have you been here? 30, 37 years. So tell me the story again about Fontana's across the street. My mom and her siblings are born in the back. They're all, they all were. They all were. I heard you were born here. I was born in this building. Yeah. Yeah, in the back. Lived in the back of the store. My mother had a grocery store. Okay. But the ice is on this corner since 29. The ice on the corner, okay. And then when they built the university in the 60s, they brought the grocery store across the street to Fontana's, which is my mom's brother. And then they put the hot dog slash fast food place here. And the reason why it's named Carnes is because the youngest sibling is Carmella. Okay. Yeah, so it's the same family. Same family since 29. Wow. So there's a lot of history, you know. Small family business, you know. Everything's franchises now. It's, you know, it's a dying breed, but I'm not going anywhere. So, you know, the unfortunate thing is I still got my 80-year-old mother on the budget. Did I just say that? Can I get a beef with hot peppers? A beef with hot. And I'm going to get a, a double dog. I think it's time to start eating. Italian beef, hot peppers. Yes. Juicy, really thinly sliced roast beef. And the bun is kind of wet, <clears throat> sort of soaking with the juices from the meat. If you've never had a, an Italian beef sandwich before, it is a very Chicago thing, very, very much part of this neighborhood, Little Italy, where we are. It's like a French dip. Imagine the beef sliced even more thinly. It's got a little bit of a different of a spice mix and then it typically has peppers on it. Are there a hot jardinera? pepper mix or sweet peppers. This hot pepper mix is hot. Can I try your hot dog? Sure. So this is a double dog. This is what I used to get when I was a kid. Two Vienna beef hot dogs put in the bun. Onions, mustard, relish, pickles. Yeah, that, that reminds me of being a little kid here. It does really bring back memories. When you were very small, and we were just first living here in Chicago. Truth be told, you were kind of a picky eater as a kid. That's what everybody says. That's not true, though. That's our, our I, memory. It was actually pretty true. Really hope you enjoyed this special episode of Dining on a Dime with special guest, my dad. Uh, if you enjoyed it and you'd like to watch another episode, please click here to watch. Let me tell you, the tamales were excellent. I don't know if it was because I was drunk or hungry, but they were real good. Tamale man! All I want is a tamale. I just want to find the tamale guy.